You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hi guys, it's Melody Lane here, and today I'm going to show you how to upload an image in the new Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how to find a public domain. I'm going to go over to my Google tab. Public domain means anybody can use it. It's not copyrighted. It's free for anyone to use. I'm going to do a Halloween card, so I was looking for a skeleton. So I typed in public domain skeleton. Now what I usually do is click on images. And look at all the skeletons. These are some fun skeletons. Yeah, skeletons can be fun. Look at all those. All kinds of skeletons. Okay, but I kind of like this one. I want to have a dancing skeleton. That one's fun too. He's dancing. So I'm going to click on this one. And so that brings us up a little bit bigger. You can visit the page and see if there's more, or you can just view the image. So I'm gonna right click on them and click on save as. So I'm gonna save them as skeleton dancing. So then it downloads and let's go back to Cricut Design Space. This card I created out of these shapes, a square. I actually used a diamond in a square to cut this out. I sliced that out of it from using the diamond. So let's go to Upload Image. Okay, we're going to go over here to Image Upload. And a lot of the other videos I showed you how to do pattern fill. If you missed those videos, click the little eye up in the upper right hand corner. You can see I've already downloaded the skeleton because I was just playing around and making sure it was a good skeleton. But let me show you how to do it. Click Upload Image. Now this is where you upload a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, a bitmap, an SVG, or a DXF file. So you can upload your SVGs or just a picture. Okay, here's our dancing skeleton. Click open. I'm just going to go ahead and do a complex image because I want it to keep everything just as it is. I hit continue. So now you see this big square around it. I want the skeleton cut out. Let's click preview. Okay, this is how it's going to cut out. It's going to cut out as a square. It's not going to cut the skeleton out. So in order to fix that, you have three little tools up here. You have crop, select and erase. I also call that the magic wand. And an eraser. The magic wand is awesome. It is magic. I'm clicking the magic wand. And any color I click on, it's going to erase everything in that color until it hits another color. If I click on this white on the outside, it's going to erase everything on the outside of the skeleton. If I click on it on the inside, it's going to erase the inside part of the skeleton. So we're just going to click on the outside. See, every it didn't do this side because it's touching up at the top here and down here. So now we got to click on this side. That's it. So whenever you upload something and you think it's only a square, I want it to cut out that, you have to clean it up. And that's all I had to do was two clicks. And here's the zoom. You do want to look at zoom sometimes. On this one, I think I got everything I don't need to zoom. Now let's look at the preview. So see, that will cut out. That's what I want. So let's hit continue. Now it shows you what it's going to look like as a print and cut or just as a cut. So you can choose if you want to save it as a print and cut or a cut. This is what it's going to look like if I just save it as a cut. This is what it's going to look like if I save it as a print and cut. This will still cut out exactly like this cuts out, but it will also print it and this is checked, that's what I want to do. You can name it, you can add tags. I'm going to add a Halloween tag. I'm going to add skeleton too. When I'm searching for an image in the image library, I'll be able to find my skeleton. Oh, let's have dancing too. Let's click save. 
Okay. Now I have two of these. I don't want to keep two of these. I'm going to click the eye and I'm just going to delete this one. You have to click it and do the check mark and then insert image. And size it. And I'm going to be making this card and another one. I have another one. Hold on. Is this all grouped? Yes. Actually, I'm going to make that smaller, I think, because I'm going to be using the cuddle bug on this folder with a Halloween background, I think. I think I am. I'm going to be using the new Cricut Vellum for this card, and my skeleton is going to be wearing a tutu. Yes, a real tutu made out of tool, and I'm making two cards at the same time. So in my next video, you'll see me putting these cards together. So my cards are going to be almost the same. Actually, I'm going to, let's duplicate him, and one of them I'm going to flip. Let's go to the edit panel. I want him dancing on this side, so I'm going to flip this too. So this will be over like that, and he'd be dancing like this. And this is going to say something cute. You'll have to see it in my next video. So then when I go to cut these out, I got my two skeletons. And I made these two separate colors because one of them is going to be foiled. So I don't want them to be the exact same color. And then I got my two gray pieces, which will be vellum. And then two, my two cards. And before you guys go, I want to show you something. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. What you do is when you're watching my video. Now, if you're watching my video from Facebook, which I know a lot of you are, Click the little YouTube icon. There will be a little YouTube icon in the bottom corner of it. Just click that and it'll bring you to a page like this. And then if you're not subscribed, you'll see a red subscribe button right next to my name. Click that. And then if you want to be subscribed by email, so you'll get an email every time one of my new videos come out, click this little gear and then click here send me notifications for this channel. You'll be notified by email or on your mobile app every time I put out a video and click save. Thanks guys. Here's a shout out for a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Thanks everyone. Bye. Grace Kearns, Jackie English, D. Jones, Donna Bunch, Kathy Gosky, Linda McFadden, Laura Molitoris, Betty Thompson, Samantha Coleman, Barbara Wharf, Deborah McGuire, Donna Nora Stadler, Susan Peters, Stephanie Marler, Jerry Dentel, Ann Powell, Carla Boardman, and Sue Ann Matthews. Thanks, guys.